Since their debut in the mid-1990s, unmanned aerial vehicles, colloquially known as drones, have demonstrated lethal prowess, earning their place as a cornerstone of 21st century combat. Military drones have carved a niche for themselves in history by revolutionizing warfare in a manner that few technologies have achieved. These aerial powerhouses boast the capacity for long flights and expansive area coverage. Combined with their cutting-edge sensor and camera technology, they yield unprecedented intelligence-gathering efficiency and dependability. Moreover, drones have proven instrumental in safeguarding American pilots while executing precision strikes on a global scale, all while significantly reducing operational costs compared to conventional aircraft. Yet, since its inception, drones have inadvertently inherited many limitations, primarily due to being designed to emulate traditional strike and surveillance aircraft. Enter Martin UAV Corporation, the visionary force behind the revolutionary VBAT-128 drone. This trailblazing UAV aims to propel drone technology into a new era by retaining the formidable attributes that have made them indispensable on the battlefield while adding the game-changing ability of vertical takeoff and landing. The bold design of the VBAT-128 has given birth to a one-of-a-kind drone featuring a perplexing flight style that has piqued the curiosity of military enthusiasts across the globe. Should the VBAT-128 fulfill its promises, it would perform all the tasks of a contemporary military drone while exhibiting the versatility to land and take off from spaces as small as 3.6 meters, heralding a new chapter in the history of aerial warfare. Limitations. Modern combat drones, such as the MQ-9 Reaper, GD Avenger-1, or the Hermes 900, have redefined what unmanned aircraft can do on the battlefield. Without putting the lives of U.S. airmen at risk, these birds have proven capable of delivering devastating strikes to enemy positions, gathering crucial military intelligence, and avoiding collateral damage during raids. However, drones have also been controversial, as their use has sometimes led to civilian losses, as they lack a human pilot to make real-time ethical decisions. Drones also have technical limitations that make human pilots crucial for many sensitive missions. For example, they cannot communicate with civilians for more detailed intelligence. Drones cannot capture surrendering military personnel, abandoned hardware, or military bases. Additionally, drone operations are confined to the airbases in the region. The most influential iterations, such as the MQ-9 Reaper, require up to 9,840 feet of runway to take off and land. This severely impacts the capabilities of combat drones, as they are often tightly restrained regarding fuel and flight times. In operations where drones can be the difference between life and death for U.S. pilots or soldiers on the ground, having the ability to land or take off from sites closer to the battlefield even if they are limited in space, would be game-changing. In response, several aircraft manufacturers have embarked on a quest to create a new generation of combat drones capable of vertical takeoff and landing, or VTOL. From the sleek tilt-rotor Bell V247 Vigilant proposal to the massive aerial reconfigurable embedded system transport drone, weapons manufacturers have worked hard at creating VTOL combat drones. So far, the prototypes have yet to make it to mass production, but a new contender has entered the race for a new generation of combat drones. The VBAT-128 appears to have everything needed to become a fearsome challenger. Evolution Established in 2015, Martin UAV pioneered the development of the original VBAT VTOL unmanned aircraft catering to defense, government, and commercial sectors. This innovative aircraft boasts runway independence and can be rapidly assembled, packed, and relocated within minutes. The UAS offers several advantages, including a low acoustic signature and radar cross-section and cost-effective operation. The VBAT drone has been deployed across numerous global operations, supporting the U.S. Army's future tactical UAS program, the U.S. Marines, and the U.S. Southern Command's augmented counter-narcotics efforts in the Eastern Pacific. 
Furthermore, it has been successfully integrated into the operations of the U.S. Coast Guard. The VBAT-128 unmanned aircraft system represents a significant upgrade to its predecessor. This enhanced version boasts increased payload capacity and endurance, setting it apart from its earlier iteration. In February 2021, the VBAT-128 was showcased at the Army Expeditionary Warrior Experiment, or AEWE, held at Fort Benning, Georgia. The AEWE serves as a platform to evaluate various cutting-edge technologies that contribute to the U.S. Army's modernization efforts, particularly concerning the Army's six modernization priorities. The versatile VBAT-128 BTOL drone is designed for defense and commercial applications. These include search and rescue, border security, rapid tactical deployment, firefighting, disaster management, transportation, logistical resupply, infrastructure protection, and security as well as operations within the energy and oil and gas sectors. Easy Deployment The VBAT-128 is a groundbreaking unmanned aircraft poised to revolutionize drone technology across a spectrum of applications, from law enforcement operations to military reconnaissance. This compact powerhouse features VTOL capabilities and a distinctive single-engine ducted fan propulsion design, which eliminates the need for conventional launch and recovery support equipment and exposed rotors typically found in propeller-driven VTOLs. The VBAT is the epitome of compact versatility, measuring 2.74 meters in length, 2.95 meters in wingspan, and weighing a mere 56.6 .6 kilograms, including fuel and payload. Deployment of the drone is remarkably efficient, as it can be assembled by just two personnel in under 30 minutes, making it an ideal choice for missions requiring rapid deployment. Transport options include minivans, light tactical vehicles, and even Black Hawk helicopters. In flight, the VBAT-128 seamlessly transitions between takeoff, vertical hover, and horizontal modes, facilitating persistent surveillance while maintaining sensor line of sight. The design accommodates a wide range of interchangeable and customizable payloads and sensors tailored to meet specific mission requirements. While in VTOL mode, the aircraft displays an intriguing, unorthodox flight pattern. The faintly anthropomorphic silhouette of the drone in its vertical position has piqued the curiosity of many observers and aviation enthusiasts. However, the true innovation lies in the capabilities enabled by this flight mode. Adaptability. Operating in a fully autonomous mode from launch to recovery, the VBAT-128 utilizes pre-programmed flight paths for enhanced operational safety. It requires a minimal 3.6 by 3.6 meter footprint in any environment, making it highly adaptable for confined spaces on land. The VBAT-128's ability to take off and land in compact spaces, combined with the absence of a remote operator, holds the potential to revolutionize surveillance operations. Reconnaissance missions no longer require a large runway nearby. Two servicemen can covertly transport the drone to any clear patch of land, 3.6 meters in radius, and safely deploy and recover the drone. Equipped with an 11.3 kilogram payload capacity, the VBAT-128 can accommodate electro-optical and mid-wave infrared cameras for long-range imaging, image stabilization, and high-speed thermal imaging. Real-time video and imagery are transmitted to the control station via a data link. Additionally, the drone incorporates an AIS for navigation and collision avoidance, and land or maritime wide-area search AI-based capabilities. Powered by the cutting-edge Sutter TOA-288 engine, the VBAT-128 generates higher thrust than its predecessor. It can operate at speeds exceeding 90 kilometers per hour. It withstands temperatures ranging from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius, and has a service ceiling of 6.09 meters, allowing for 11 hours of sustained horizontal flight. In conclusion, the VBAT-128 is a game changer in unmanned aircraft technology. Its compact design, innovative propulsion system, and state-of-the-art features render it a versatile and practical option for various missions in military and commercial settings. Thank you for watching Dark Tech. For more mind-blowing warfare technology and the battles where it's been used, 
tap on your screen and check out our other Duck Documentaries channels. We publish new videos regularly, so stay tuned for more.